here we are, we're at Deer Pond. I've already selected my site. I've got my cover, my food, and my water. This is a two acre food plot here on Deer Pond. What I decided to plant this year, I've played with everything. Uh, this spring, uh, this is my third year to plant a summer food plot or spring food plot. This year, just over the last three years, I've planted several different things in the past, but this year I've decided to come in and I've planted iron and clay peas or cow peas and grain sorghum, which is basically what I what I can figure out, grain sorghum and milo are real close to the same thing. They're basically the same thing, but I call it grain sorghum. Gets up to about, the grain sorghum would get up about four foot tall. It puts off a real nice seed head. The deer will kind of browse on that a little bit and eat on it, especially while it's young. And uh, while the grain sorghum's young, the deer will kind of come in and they'll munch on it a little bit. Hopefully not get as many of the peas while the peas are small. Let them get on up and get them get leafed out to where they can't keep up with it or where they won't kill it. It'll keep growing. First month of peas is very critical to keep the deer off because uh, if the deer get in there and they start biting it off at the ground, uh, they won't come back if it's too early. Uh, after about a month, they've got their extra sets of leaves. They've got good roots and it'll keep coming back. So with the grain sorghum, I was told by a wildlife biologist here in Texas, plant grain sorghum with it, with your clay peas. Uh, the deer will browse on it, um, so I'm learning just like you. Deer will come in, pick on it a little bit, maybe leave most of the peas. Uh, peas get on out, but also you get that grain sorghum up. That grain sorghum will get up about three and a half, four foot tall if it's a good stand. And what that does is let those peas also grow up that stalk of that grain sorghum and as it climbs, it has a lattice works or a ladder to climb, it'll actually, you'll get more volume of, of leaves, more, more volume of peas. You're planting with a iron and clay peas, you're planting more for the leaves than you are the peas because it doesn't put out like purple holes or soybeans where it just keeps putting out. Um, they seem to put out a, a, a few less early on, but as they grow and they get older, it puts out a lot more peas. Uh, or that's my experience. I, that's what I've noticed. Now that might not be what the books say, but that's what I've noticed. So, uh, basically, those peas will grow up four and a half foot tall with that grain sorghum. Cover it. You get a larger volume of leaves and peas, and you just have a better stand all the way around. Plus, it gets up nice and tall. It gives those deer plenty of cover to get into. Here at Deer Pond, I don't have a lot of cover. I'm kind of in a wide open field. I'm leaving my grasses around the edges real tall and nice but I want them to feel comfortable eating. So that grain sorghum gets up, the peas get up, and they can walk through and feel kind of hidden while they're out in the middle of it. On a side note, I've done experiments. If, if you want to figure out what to grow in your area, what I did and what worked for me and why I like clay peas is they work really good the first year for me, so I'm gonna stick with them. There's things out there that have better protein value uh, and better maybe for deer. Uh, but if the deer don't eat it, it doesn't do any good. So find what your deer like to eat in your area based on the soils you have, what it's putting into that plant so that they, they like it. They really like iron and clay peas here in Northeast Texas, May all over. Uh, they may, uh, I planted soybeans here. I went out to one, one of my food plots and I went 20 yards wide, 100 yards long and planted clay peas, another stripe of, of uh, soybeans and another stripe of lab lab. All three grew very well. All three groups grew up very well. I could tell what was what, but it seemed like my clay peas were eaten more often by the deer. So as my experiment went, they liked the clay peas the best. Maybe another year or so I'll try soybeans and lab lab, do another experiment and see what they like. But for right now, I'm gonna stick with clay peas.